this then. Oh. Oh. process then. It's a yadu, yadu. We are in Lombok. Now we are heading to Kayangan Harbour in the eastern part of Lombok where a boat will take us on a four days, three nights journey to Labuan Bajo in Flores. This is going to be a fun field adventure where we will swim with the whale shark. Island hopping. See the famous Komodo dragons. Set hikes and many more. It is worth noting that the journey by itself is worthy of one of the top to do lists in a lifetime as you will be treated to the breathtaking views of the islands around this region. So sit back, relax, and join us on this adventure in the comfort of your home. Our boat has arrived. This is a Finnissi boat and it will be our home for the next four days. The Finnissi is a traditional Indonesian sailing ship that has a distinctive design and rich historical and cultural significance. Its origins can be traced back to the Bugis people of South Sulawesi, Indonesia. The Bugis are known for the seafaring skills and have long history of building and sailing these vessels. The Finnissi design is influenced by centuries of maritime tradition and craftsmanship. These boats were originally used for trading, fishing and transportation throughout the Indonesian archipelago and they played a significant role in the region's economy and culture. Construction of a finisi typically involves a combination of traditional techniques and modern materials.
The boats are often built using hardwoods such as teak and ironwood and they feature distinctive sails and rigging that contribute to their unique appearance. The term Pinisi originally referred to as a specific type of two-masted sailing ship, but it is now commonly used to describe a broad range of traditional Indonesian sailing vessels. Today, Finnissy boats have gained popularity as charter vessels for tourists who wish to explore the stunning waters of Indonesia. With everyone on board, the crew cast off the mooring lines and the finishing boat slowly began to glide away from the dock. The port of call for today is the Kanawa Island where we will be enjoying the beautiful sunset. The travellers gathered on the deck, their eyes filled with wonder as they took in the breathtaking panorama of Lombok's rugged coastline. As the boat sails further from the shore, we find ourselves surrounded by the vast expanse of the ocean. Gust of wind hits the waves and turns it into a bumpy boat ride. The boat rises and falls with the rolling waves offering a sense of timeless rhythm of the ocean. How strong is the wave? Very strong! Can you walk? No! The sun casts its golden light on the ocean as the boat pushes through the waves to get to the destination. After a few hours of sailing, Kanawa Island comes into view on the horizon. As the boat approaches Kanawa Island, the anticipation builds. A paradise of white sandy beach and swaying palm trees await. Once the boat is moored, it is time for us to get to shore. When we get on the island, we are treated to a beautiful, soft, powdery, white sandy beach. The savannah like terrain with the structures made of glass bottles in the background makes the island look like a page from a fairy tale book. With 
Mount Rajani as a backdrop, it makes a perfect photo opportunity. The highlight of this trip, however, has to be the sunset. It doesn't disappoint. Kanawa Island is magical. I am looking forward to our next adventure tomorrow where the whale sharks await. So don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss the next episode.